Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to a strange update video. We're not gonna be looking at anything in particular, instead I have a lot of small updates, uh, whether it be to merchandise or to the games, um, that we're gonna look at today. I just wanna give a huge, huge shout out to the people over on the Reddit because they released a uh, February update thread, and most recently a March update thread. Most of this stuff, actually I'm pretty sure basically all of it, is coming from those threads. Also, I'm gonna mention everyone that made these discoveries, so uh, shout out to those people as well. Couldn't have made this video without ya. Everything of course will be linked down below, but let's not waste any more time, and let's hop right into the first bit of news. So the first bit of awesome that we're gonna be looking at today was found by Anna, or Anna, uh, M14. And they found a new voice line for Vanny, or Vanessa. So, here we are on um, Jessica Tang's Voices.com page. If you don't know, Jessica is in fact the voice actress for Vanny, or Vanessa. And right here, um, do we have a release date for this? I don't think we do. Um, but it is titled, Video Game Demo, Scared, Frightened, Afraid, Young, Female, Follower, and Obedient. It's only 10 seconds, let's have a listen. I understand. I'll do just as you ask. And yes, I've already selected one. Now I have heard this before, but if you haven't, this isn't really a theory video, but we can go into it. I understand. Okay, so she does kind of sound a bit afraid and frightened, because you can hear her voice kind of go, I guess? I understand. She's like, <laughs> so she is a little bit scared, frightened, and afraid. I understand. She understands. I'll do just as you ask. Being obedient, being a follower. And yes, I've already selected one. So if you guys remember, I don't, I do not remember the direct quote, but in FNAF ER, when you held up Vanessa's mask and you held the glitch trap plushie, she spoke some lines and it's like, I think it's kind of similar to this. It's like, yes, I understand. Um, yes, I hear you. I know. No, there's no miscommunication. I understand. Yes, I have it. I made it myself. I think you would like it. No, no one suspects anything. Don't worry. I'll be ready. And I won't let you down. It will be fun. We know now that in the 2020 release game, because this is the game, this is the 2020 game. I've already selected one. So sh she has selected one, and I'm pretty sure, and now that I think about it, in the source code of scottgames.com, when one of the 2020 teasers was up, there was a conversation between different people, and they were talking about selecting someone. So, in the 2020 game, we're gonna find out who they selected. Yes, I've already selected one. So she has already selected one. So in the 2020 game, she has already selected one. <laughs> and I realize I'm kind of just repeating the same thing, but... And yes, I've already selected one. It's just interesting because she could be talking to Glitchtrap in the form of the plushie? I don't really know, because here's the thing, right? <laughs> FNAF VR's ending is extremely confusing, because we don't really understand what happened to Glitchtrap, because he's he just turned into a plushie. Um, I understand. I don't understand why she would be scared or afraid when she was, when talking to Glitchtrap, because she sees uh, William, or Glitchtrap, as, she, she's part of like the cult of Glitchtrap, I'm pretty sure that's what people have been calling it. So, I'm not entirely sure why she would be afraid of talking about this. I understand. I don't really know, alright? This isn't really a speculation video, I just wanted to show this with you guys. Okay, so, that is it for that piece of information. Again, link down below if you guys want to theorize in the comments, feel free to. Moving on to the next piece of information. So, this next piece of information was found by Ethan Georgia CG. 
About a week ago, they posted this picture to the Reddit, saying the FNAF 1 figures are getting re-released that feature better paint, new packaging, and probably better durability as well. Oh, and apparently it was found by Boosh Goes Woosh on Instagram. Now, it has been quite a long time since I personally have seen these figures, so I, I'm not entirely sure exactly what they've changed as regards to like the packaging and the better paint, because again, it's been a while since I've seen these. I'm just gonna take their word for it, and because some of the stuff we're talking about in this video does involve merchandise, I thought I'd just throw this in there. So yeah, if you had complaints about the previous figures, they are getting re-released. I'm not entirely sure when, it doesn't fully say, so um, I guess just keep your eyes out for that. And continuing the theme of merchandise, we have some McFarlane sets that are to be released hopefully very soon. Now don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure this was at a convention of some sorts because the original poster, or sorry, the original image not only had FNAF sets, but I'm pretty sure it also had Cuphead and Hello Neighbor sets, so I'm pretty sure this was at some sort of con or something. But Smear Reddit posted this, uh, for me, 15 days ago, so this is relatively old news, but it shows off all of the new McFarlane sets. Now, these are from FNAF 6 to FNAF VR, and let me just say, these look really good. So there's a total of six, half of them being from FNAF 6 and the other half being from FNAF VR. First one, you've got uh, FNAF VR's repair minigame with Freddy. Next up, you got Lefty on the, uh, the side stage from FNAF 6. Oh my god, this one looks so freaking cool. It is the corn maze from FNAF VR with Grim Foxy. He looks so, so creepy. And you've got a few uh, boards that you can hide behind. You've got the salvage minigame from FNAF 6, not only with the cassette tape, but also with Molten Freddy. This next one's a little weird. You have the vent repair boiler room from FNAF VR with Mangle. And then, oh my god, this final one looks so, so amazing. I'm not even kidding. It is the Rockstar animatronics, excluding Rockstar Foxy, because apparently he's not cool enough, on the show stage from FNAF 6. All six of these look goddamn beautiful, let me just say. I have seen a few people, just, just a few though, I don't think it's many, complaining that Freddy and Mango are reused models, but I mean, to be fair, it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, technically they are the same people in those minigames as opposed to their debut titles, if you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully these come out soon because I cannot wait to get my hands on these. These, oh, these just look so, so good, especially the Grim Foxy one. That one looks amazing. And if you think we are done with merchandise just yet, oh no, 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 my friend, no, we are not, because we're not. We have more. <laughs> so about two weeks ago, Shrek the First posted on Reddit saying that rejoice Apparently Funko said something new is coming for FNAF. Alright, so that Reddit post actually links to an Instagram post, but actually I have the original source right here. This was a video called an in-depth look at the entire Funko Pop lineup for 2020 at Toy Fair New York, and this was posted by Top Pops on YouTube. Now I actually saw this video um, about two weeks ago when it came out, and I completely overlooked this. I don't know how I did, so uh, let, let's have a look. The Master Toy License still for Rick and Morty and Five Nights at Freddy's. Of course, Rick and Morty has been extended for several more seasons, so there's not going to be an end to what we do. Rick and Morty stuff? stuff? Five Nights at Freddy's apparently has something new coming. Oh, I, I haven't heard. Tell that. Uh, but <laughs> I like how at the end of that little speech, he's like, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell that or not. <laughs> But uh, yeah, apparently there is something new coming out, alright? Several more seasons, so there's not going to be an end to what we do there. That's perfect. And Five Nights at Freddy's apparently has something new coming. Oh, I, I haven't heard. Tell that. Uh, but Exclusive. That means probably a lot more product. I hope so. Yeah, so apparently there is something new coming to FNAF Funko Pop lineup. As you can see right down here, it doesn't show anything new. It literally is just the Pizzeria Simulator of Funko Pops, which we already have. Now, I don't think these next pops are going to be for the 2020 game. I'm pretty sure, if I had to make a guess, it'll probably be just a small set for new characters added from VR and AR. So maybe we'll get Glitch Trap, maybe we'll get Freddy Frostbear, I don't really know. I don't think it'll be anything too big because those two games didn't really add a whole lot of new characters. Hopefully, hopefully it isn't more just like Blacklight Funko Pops because 
Uh, I think a few people have been complaining about that, actually. They're like, man, you know, Funko's pops for FNAF has really been, you know, dying down. We want some new ones, and I would love some new ones. Like I said, Glitch Trap and Frost Barrel, probably my most recommended. I would freaking love to see those guys as pop figures. And the fact that he said there was something new coming for FNAF, I don't think I'm supposed to say that yet. It's definitely not going to be the 2020 game because we really haven't heard anything to anything about it and if they're already making merch for it that's just that's just a little weird don't you think so I do think it is going to be for um, FNAF VR and FNAF AR when they're coming out I don't know who is going to be introduced as a Funko Pop now I have no clue all we can do is wait and hope for more information very soon and speaking of FNAF Help Wanted actually this is a very clean segue that surprisingly I did not plan Apparently, Godzilla813105 went into the Help Wanted files and he found out that Foxy will have his own black like texture. The file's name is Char Matte Foxy Black Light for Showtime. And yes, I do know Sha means character. I just like saying Sha. Now, this won't be the first time that we've heard about black light textures in FNAF Your. In fact, when the game just got released, certain people had access to Showtime, and apparently, if you played Showtime well in Blacklight or Nightmare Mode, the characters would turn into these black light textures. For example, Andrietta posted a video of the Blacklight animatronics in Help Wanted, so let's take a look at that. So it looks like they're using some sort of debug menu. I don't really know how all of this works. I am i don't normally fiddle diddle with this stuff, so I don't know what's really going on right now. But they are using some sort of menu to move around the map of FNAF VR. And here we go. Look at that stage with the lights. And I think, is this the main stage? Yeah, it is the main stage. So you can see Freddy, you can see Chica, you can see Bonnie, all in their black light forms. Look at that. So Bonnie seems to be pink mostly Freddy I completely forget but as you can see here Foxy does not have a black light texture he only has his eye as a separate texture you know all these guys on the main stage have completely different models or sorry not models textures but Foxy doesn't but as we found out from the last post he does now so what does this mean are we getting showtime Ooh, maybe <laughs> I hope so yeah so Freddy's mostly blue and Chico's mostly green yeah there we go also, I've spent so, 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 so long. Well, on the topic of Help Wanted, by the way, another clean segue. Man, I'm just killing it today. I spent so long looking for this post, and I know it's out there because I swear I've seen it. And unless it was a dream or I'm just going crazy, I am 100% sure that I've seen this. On my whiteboard, I wrote down FNAF VR coming to Switch, okay? And now I remember someone making a post saying that they went into the game files and saw some things that were titled Switch, okay? Now, either that does mean it's coming to the Switch, or I'm just looking into this too far and people, other people are looking into it too far. But when you think about it, it makes sense. All of the other FNAF games have been ported, 1 through 4, Sister Location, Pizzeria Simulator, and eventually Ultimate Custom Night. Why wouldn't they bring help wanted to the Nintendo Switch. Now you may be thinking, can this thing really handle VR? Well the answer is simple, most likely not. If you guys didn't know, they do have a VR accessory to the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch Labo VR headset, but it's a bunch of cardboard, literally it's a bunch of cardboard, and I don't think it'll be able to handle VR help wanted. But notice how I said VR help wanted because not too long ago in fact it was only about three or four months ago steel wool i nearly said the lumix nope it's steel wool released flat mode for fnaf vr help wanted without the use of vr so i think it is perfectly plausible that steel wool could port help wanted to the switch what do you guys think? I don't really know. Either I'm going crazy and I just hallucinated that entire post, or, you know, we're, we're just gonna get help wanted on the Switch. Yeah, so that is it for all of the news. Again, I'm not entirely sure what this video was, but there were a few interesting points that I want to get out to you guys because they seem very, very cool, especially knowing that Help Wanted Showtime could be coming, could be coming to the Switch as well. 
and new McFallen sets and new Funko Pops and information on the 2020 release game. We got a lot of cool stuff coming our way. And so hopefully you guys are all looking forward to all of this stuff because I think 2020 is going to be a phenomenal year for FNAF. So thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss. And I'll see all you dudes on the flip side. Goodbye. That's probably the oddest outro I've ever done. Um, let's let's just skip to the end screens.